Today we're going to install a pro tilt tilting mechanism for a walker mower. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is install the front bracket on the detached mower deck. I want you to detach the mower deck per the manufacturer's instructions. First thing we got to do is drill the holes. Come on. But the procedure is line it up between uh, this upright and the opposite upright. We're going to clamp it in place with some clamps. Then what you're going to do is you're going to mark your holes, and I like to mark your holes with just a center punch. Next thing we're going to do is remove the brackets and clear away our chips so it's nice and clean. And that's all set. With the smooth head going from your left, my left right now, through the bracket. Then put your pin in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cylinder and bracket assembly and the bolts, uh, the three eighths bolts with the lock nuts that come with it, and we're going to put it around the one by two tubing that's in between the uh, two wheel assemblies and we're going to clamp down on the back you don't have to go really hard just enough to clamp it down and make sure the lock washer is catchy now we're going to mount the power unit itself on the back you're going to mount it on the back left corner and there's a flat spot just by the gas tank. Uh, that's where you're going to drill your holes. I just put it there, mark your holes with a pen or a marker, and then uh, drill the top one, set it, and then double check your uh, up and down and drill your second hole. The first thing we do for safety before we do any electrical work is we tilt up the we tilt up the hood of the machine and we disconnect, as you can see, we disconnect the battery uh, cable right here that goes to our starter solenoid. The next thing we're going to do is connect all three of your electrical connections. You have three connections. Two of them go to the same place. Those two go to the battery post on your starter of the engine. When you take off the nut of the battery post, you're going to need to remove a 10 gauge wire going from the battery post to a little 30 amp resettable breaker a little bit further up into the chassis. Once you remove that wire, then you put on um, the one wire with a bigger stud and the big number four wire uh, right here for the battery directly to that starter stud. We like to route them behind uh, the brackets here and go around so that everything mounts clean. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the uh, last wire to the 30 amp resettable breaker and you're going to need a 3 8 wrench or a 3 8 socket preferably in a quarter inch drive. 
it's important to know that this is electrically grounded through the mounting bolts on the back here into the chassis. So that's how the unit's grounded. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the hose from the power unit down to the cylinder. And the way we do that is we have one connection fitting uh, coming off the power unit, either on the side or, or underneath the power unit. And then we're going to route it along the top. Uh, there's going to be a, um, a little bracket here that you install with the kit that we provide and just take the bolt out and then put it back in uh, for this bracket and then zip tie across the when you when the hose goes across you're going to zip tie the hose in place and then route it down the front of this transmission and then circle back into the port in this direction now we're going to re Connect the entire deck back onto the machine and the only other extra connection that you have to do than you normally do is to connect the rotted pin eye through this pin down to our bracket on the front. Now we're going to take the wire ties provided and we're going to uh, clean up our uh, routing of cabling and hose. We're going to uh, tie the hose here at this bracket with the wire tie and we're going to do the same by cleaning up our wire too so there's no sharp corners. And finally the last thing to do for the installation is put the battery cable on the positive battery terminal. I'm Steven with FluPro and you have just successfully and easily use the Pro Tilt system to maintain the deck on your Walker mower. Thanks for watching.